Hey everyone, so today I have a collective haul for you. Um, I bought like one thing here, one thing there, that sort of thing, so I'm just going to show you the things that I got. And tomorrow is going to be um, MAC uh, Fashion Flower Collection, and I'll show you what I end up buying from that. A uh, couple things though, before I get started on this haul that I wanted to mention about previous videos. Yesterday when I did my um, swap video, um, I meant to say this in the video and I completely forgot, and that is um, if you live in the United States and you want to try out accessorized products, makeup, nail polish, they also sell bags, jewelry, shoes, that sort of thing. They have a website for people in the United States. Um, they charge $5 shipping, which is excellent. But um, they don't sell their makeup and nail polish on their website. So, however, there are some accessorized stores in the United States. There's not many, but um, there's three in New York, one in New Jersey, two in Virginia, and one in Washington, D.C. So if you're lucky enough to live in any of those areas, um, you can just go to the store and check out all their stuff. And I'm going to put a link to Accessorize website for people in the United States in the description box if you want more information like the exact location of the stores or if you just want to go look at their stuff online. Um, the other, th oh and uh, also they're going to be opening a hundred stores in this country within the next four years. So if you don't have a store near you yet then chances are sometime within the next four years you will have one eventually. Um, the other thing is, in my video that I did about lipsticks, someone had left a comment in the comment section when I was talking about the Island Girl Cosmetics lipsticks, uh, which is these, um, and they said, oh, uh, I don't think $15 is cheap for a lipstick. I never said they were $15. Um, I think what happened was... They must have Googled Island Girl and then found a website called islandgirl.net or islandgirlcosmetics.net or something like that. That has nothing to do with these lipstick lipsticks. It's a different company. You can only get these lipsticks that I'm talking about at ABC stores. Um, so it one has nothing to do with the other. But I can see why they would assume that that was the website for those lipsticks, but it isn't. It's an entirely different company. So I just wanted to make that clear. Okay, so let's get to the haul. Um, first of all, I got my reward certificate from Ulta. I was level 3, which gets me basically a bottle of Salon nail polish. So I got Zoya Jewels, and this is kind of like um, champagne frosty gold. And I've got I've got a real cool idea in mind for this polish. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I want to test it out first and see if it works. And if it does, I'll do a nail tutorial. But I've got, got kind of a fun idea in mind for this polish. So this was free from Ulta for shopping at their store. In case you don't know, um, Ulta sends out reward certificates quarterly to people who have an Ulta rewards card. And depending on how much money you spend, you end up being different levels and then you get a certificate to get free stuff in the store. So I was level 3 which is exactly where I want to be because I like getting the bottle of Salon nail polish. Um, and also speaking of nail polish, I went to Walmart yesterday and I didn't end up buying anything except for like groceries and stuff but I was going to get a bottle of 100% acetone because um, you may remember that I used up the one that I had in that video that I did, how to make your own nail polish remover. And they had one bottle left on the shelf. And I was like, oh, I got the last bottle, you know. So I'm walking around the store holding this bottle of 100% acetone. And there's a reason why it was left on the shelf. It was leaking. By the time I got to the register, because I had to get some groceries too, I had acetone all over my hand. And I was like, oh... Do you have a wipe? And I told her, you know, this bottle is leaking, I don't want it, blah, blah, blah. So she didn't have any wipes. She gave me a paper towel, but I 
didn't end up buying in that, but I went to Sally Beauty Supply and I got this big giant bottle of Beauty Secrets Pure Acetone uh, for $4.99. So this ended up being a much better deal than what I would have gotten had I bought the one at Walmart. Um, and let's see, I went to, this isn't all one day by the way, this is like scattered over the course of maybe, I don't know, a week or something like that. I went to CVS and I bought another thing of the Essence of Beauty Citrus Coconut Body Lotion. And as you can see, it's already down to there because it's, this was a few days ago. <laughs> I go through a lot of this stuff. Oh my God, I love this. Yeah, if you like like tropical scents, then you would really like this. And it's it's um, not that expensive, and it's got like shea butter and stuff in it. I've talked about that before. And then I went to Target, and I was gonna buy another bottle of um, the Sonia Kashuk eye makeup remover because I really did like it. But then I thought, no, let's try something different. So I'm going to try the Boots Number no. Seven. Cleanse and Care Eye Makeup Remover. And again, it's got like the two different liquids and you shake it to mix it together. And um, the ingredients sounded very similar to the Sonia Kashuk one. And this is a slightly different size container, but when you work it out like dollar per ounce, it ends up being pretty much the same price if you calculate it accordingly. So I have not... Um, use this yet because I still need to use up the Sonia Kashuk one but I always like to buy like things in advance so that I don't ever completely run out of something and then get into a situation. I needed heat protectant spray. Um, I had been testing out the Nexus one and as far as I'm concerned I don't really feel like the Nexus is any better than what I was using before which is the Tresemme. The Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray is every bit as good as the Nexus one, so I thought, why spend the extra money for Nexus when the Tresemme one is just as good? So I went back to this. Tresemme makes really good products. I like their, um, I like everything that I've ever tried by them. And then last but certainly not least, I got, um, at Target, I got a shirt by Morona. And check this out. How pretty is that? I don't know what color you would call this. This is like that new green that we've been seeing a lot of um, this year. It's not mint green. It's deeper than that. It's like a sea foam green or, um, yeah, sea green, I guess you would call it. But it's just the most beautiful shade of green. And then I love the detail around the neckline. And it, if on the back of the shirt, it even has it right along the back at the top. So, um, love this. I've been, I've been finding so many pretty shirts lately. I like to buy mostly shirts because, um, I feel like they're a lot more versatile than anything else. I don't really have tons of, um, like, uh, pants, capris, shorts, skirts, that sort of thing, because I would rather have more tops because I feel like I can get a lot more outfits out of it. But um, I mostly, when the warm weather hits, will wear either shorts, capris, or jeans. Um, occasionally I'll wear dresses and skirts, but not too often. And I can't wait till it's warm enough to start wearing sandals again. Yesterday was warm enough, but um, I don't know. <laughs> it just seemed wrong to be wearing sandals in April, and then today is like cloudy and I think it's supposed to rain or something so I don't want to wear them today but anyways um, if you're curious about uh, prices let's see I told you about the acetone the um, the nail polish if I had paid for it would have been seven dollars and I don't have the other receipt in front of me right here but um, so for products for today I'm wearing Guerlain Meteorites uh, foundation primer, Revlon Color Stay foundation, Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I tried wearing a powder blush today. 
Um, we'll see how I make out with that because I haven't worn any powder blush in a long time and the last time that I did, after I had had it on for about an hour, I went back and check, checked my face and in the area where I had applied it, my the skin was all dry. So this is kind of an experiment, but I've got on MAC On A Mission blush. This was limited edition with the Style Warriors collection. And I've got my Ico cream as a highlighter for my face and eyes. Urban Decay Primer Potion. Makeup Academy Eye Dust in shades number 2 and 6. 2 on the lids and 6 in the crease and outer corner. My eyeliner is MAC uh, Pearl Glide Intense Eyeliner in Designer Purple. This was limited edition. My mascara is Ico Big Eyes Mascara, the one in the tube. And on my lips is uh, MAC Quite Cute Lipstick from the collection that came out, when was that, last week or the week before? On my nails today is... Accessorize in Lilac Echo, and I had to use two coats of this um, because it didn't go on quite as nicely as the one that I had on yesterday in Mermaid because that was a different like line of polishes. That was the Illusion formula, and these are, this is from, um, oh gosh, I can't remember, I'm sorry. And it doesn't say on the bottle. But anyways, uh, yeah, this didn't go on as easily as the other one did, um, so I've got two coats of this. But, you know, it looks, looks fine after the second coat. And then because I have no patience and I put on two rather liberal coats of the polish, I slept on a coat of Seshvi. I don't know what I would do without this stuff because I have no patience when it comes to doing my nails, you know. I just want to paint them and go. And you can count to like 60 seconds with this and you're good to go. I mean, you can have two really thick coats of polish on and then before they even dry, you know, just put the sesh feet right on top and bam, you're ready to walk out the door or do whatever you need to do. Um, and let's see, my shirt is Mossimo from Target. This necklace was part of a swap with June, as was this ring. My watch is Style & Company from Macy's, and these are just a bunch of bangles. Most of them are from Walmart, but some of them are from like a million years ago. I just like to mix them all together. And that's about it. So tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow with my um, video of what I get from the MAC Fashion Flower Collection. And that's it. <laughs> Bye, you guys.